In this video, we'll be looking at how to draw and interpret pie charts. Let's say we conducted a survey asking voters at random, what is their political party? 42 people say that they are Democrat, 37 say that they are Republican, and 51 say that they are Independent. When we add the frequencies, we get the total number of people surveyed. A pie chart is a visual display which shows the portion of cases in each category. To figure out each portion, you may recall that we need to find the relative frequency by dividing each frequency by the total and multiplying by 100 if we want those portions as percentages. Now that we have the relative frequency for each category, we can figure out the size of each sector of our circle. Remember that a circle is made up of 360 degrees. To find the size of each angle needed to create our sectors, we need to multiply the relative frequency by 360. We multiply 32.3 over 100 by 360 and get approximately 116 degrees. Then multiply 28.5 over 100 by 360 and get approximately 103 degrees. And we multiply 39.2 over 100 by 360 and get approximately 141 degrees. We will need the size of each angle along with the percent relative frequency for each category in order to create our pie chart. We start by drawing a circle and marking its center. Then we take a protractor to measure our first angle. We place the center point of the protractor on the center of the circle. To create our first angle, we select the scale we'd like to work with on the protractor. I've decided to work with the outside scale. We look for zero degrees and mark that as our starting point on our circle. Since the Democrat portion is 116 degrees, we look for 116 on the protractor and mark that as our end point. Once we have those two points, we remove the protractor to make our first sector. Draw a line connecting our first point to the center of our circle and draw another line connecting the center to the other point. We shape that sector, displaying the portion of the whole that represents Democrats. We set up the protractor once again, placing the center point of the protractor on the center of the circle. But now, we also need to make sure that the starting line of the protractor lines up with the edge of the last sector drawn. If we've lined up the protractor correctly, our first point will be on the edge of the last sector. Since the Republican portion is 103 degrees, we look for 103 on the protractor and mark it as our end point. Again, we connect these points to the center of the circle to create our Republican sector. Since there are only three categories, we can assume that the last sector is the correct size. However, using the protractor to make sure certainly can't hurt. A great finishing touch to our pie chart is to create a key, letting your audience know what each color represents in your display. Let's take a moment to discuss what could go wrong in making our pie charts. The area principle states that the area in our display should correspond to the magnitude of each portion. If we have a fancy looking 3D pie chart, the perspective throws off the area of each sector, making our display less useful. Here's a summary of what we've learned. A pie chart displays the portion of each category in a circle. To calculate the size of a sector in a pie chart, multiply the relative frequency by 360. To measure the size of a sector, use a protractor. The area principle tells us that the area of each sector should correspond to the portion of each category.